Nobody blink! Alright, here it is. This is where we're gonna learn our next move. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Alright, does it make me vulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it to what does it though, as this move requires gold feathers. So yes, this is what the gold feathers are used for. You can only carry ten of them at a time. Take these uh, Okay, well I kind of already have full gold feathers, so kind of a waste, but thanks anyway. But also, thanks for filling up my life. I do appreciate that very much. The rest is up to me. Alright. So yes. By holding down Z and hitting right C button, you can become invincible! And thanks for all the extra golden feathers, I do rightly appreciate that. Yeah, that's... Again. So yeah, this will also shield you from enemies and just any kind of general hazard. And... it's not that... I feel weird saying it's not that great, because it's a move that essentially makes you invincible. But... it's weird, like... I guess it's just because, for the kind of game this is, you don't really need to use this that much. It's a prime example of one of those power-ups in games that you think is going to be super useful and you're going to use all the time, but you only end up using it, like, once or twice. It's one of those. Like, uh... It's not quite the same thing, but another example I can think of that is in uh, Okami, which I've been playing recently, which is a really fun game. But, uh, there's one power-up that you get uh, later in the game that lets you just summon a fireball wherever you are. And you think- oh wait, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta go back in. There's one other thing I needed the, uh, the shield for. Because that- there were, like, more spinning blades back where I first entered, for sure. Let's just take care of that real quick. But yeah, in Okami, uh, you get a power, uh, late in the game that essentially lets you- Oh wait, did I come in through there? Shit, I think maybe I did. Unless- Oh, no, 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 that's where I came from. Never mind, never mind. Although I will need to explore that later, I'm sure. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Okami. <laughs> Sorry, I cut myself off, like, thrice. But, yeah, there's a power-up late in Okami that basically just lets you summon a fireball, like, wherever, like, you draw the thing. Because if you haven't played Okami, first of all, you should. It's fucking amazing. It has a system where you can, uh draw, like, certain patterns on the screen, and I'll summon power-ups. Like, for example, when it's nighttime, you can, uh, point the camera up towards the sky and draw a circle on the sky, and that'll create the sun. And you're basically- because you're playing as, like, the Shinto Japanese god of all deities. It's fucking amazing. But yeah, there's one power-up later in the game where you can just summon a fireball wherever by drawing the infinity symbol, essentially. And you think it's gonna be really useful, but one, it consumes a shit ton of ink, which is your resource for using power-ups. And two, it's also very, very finicky about the symbol you have to draw. Like, I can only ever manage to, uh... It was really frustrating. I can only ever manage to get that shit to work, like, one out of every 20 times. It was super annoying. So yeah, it's... it's so yeah, that, that's basically what the, uh... Eh, let's try this out again, sorry. Yeah, that's basically what the invincibility power-up is. I guess a better example would be, like, the invincibility power-ups in... Bayonetta, for instance. I mean... Maybe not quite so much. I I'm sure some people have used that a lot. But my thing is that... Hang on. Actually... Okay, hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get through this without the shield. Oh. Can I do it without getting hit? Well, I almost made it. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Thank you very much. Alright, we already got eight jiggies. I did not realize we made that much progress already. That's kind of cool. Alright. Okay, yeah, so that's where you jump. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's coming back to me. Everything is coming back to me. It's all good. It's all good. And there's one more thing we can do in this shark, I remember. But yeah, I don't know if other people have gotten a lot more use out of the power-ups and Bayonetta that I have, but... Honestly, part of it is that, um, I, I get so caught up in the combat, like, like, there are items like the lollipop that turns you invincible because Bayonetta, and, like, that lamp that causes damage to all enemies, which, you know, I thought I was gonna use a lot, but, honestly, I think part of the problem is, like, I just get so caught up in the combat, because it's a very, 
frenetic game. So I just kind of end up forgetting that I have them. But also, more than that, what it is is that that game ranks you based on your performance, and, like, you lose points depending on how many items you use, so I'm consciously trying not to use them. But okay, whatever. Enough about talking about other games that are great and you should play them, and if you don't, you hate video games. So, like Clanker was saying earlier, he has a toothache, which we can attribute to this sweet fucking grill he's rocking. You knock that down. Oh, this dude's not hurt now. And there's another one on this side. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You've done quite enough swimming today, thank you. I'm just gonna knock down this one. If my aim can stop sucking. Motherfucker. Come on. It would help if I straightened out what I am. Oh, come on, how did that not hit? I, I got, like, the top of it. If Come on. I can only squat for so long, game. Come on. Damn it. I'm using up so much eggs on this. Alright, poop one out. Just for good measure. That one's that one's for me. That's for me. There we go, please. Toothache this side. God, Clanker swallowed reward. Teeth all better now, so yes! No problem! I was happy to help. And now we have this Jiggy, and you might have noticed the Mumbo token that was on the other side when we came up here. We can get that, too. So let's just go in through the other side. Man, we were getting very well acquainted. Did, did Nintendo 64 games, like, just have a weird thing with making you go inside big creatures? Like, cause there's this, Lord Japu Japu's belly, and, like, I'm, I'm sure there's a couple other examples that I'm missing, but... I don't know, maybe it's only those two games and I'm just being weirdly selective, but... It also could be because, like I said, I'm playing Okami and there's a sequence like that in that game as well. You get to, like, go inside a giant-ass fucking water dragon. Ugh. That game is so sick. Although part of me kind of... I have it on the Wii, but part of me kind of wants to try it on the PS2 to see if the drawing is a little less finicky. Because... No, I, honestly, you know what it was, is that, um... I'm probably boring the shit out of anybody who doesn't play Okami, but... What can I say? It's what interests me. But yeah, part of the problem there was that, uh... It seemed to be that the game got really finicky over what constituted a circle. But actually, that's not what it is at all. Like, it's actually very, very forgiving in those terms. Like, I've managed to draw squares and triangles and have it register as a... Circle. As long as the, uh, as long as you close off the shape, like, you know, pretty much register no matter what. The problem is that it's really finicky about placement, and that's especially, um, evident when you use the bloom power-up, which allows you to make, uh, trees and flowers blossom, and you get experience points by doing that. It's really cool, but the problem is, like, like I said, it is very, very picky about where you have to be standing to make that shit work. So, there's that problem. Uh, why the fuck am I talking about Okami so much? I'm sorry, it's just... Uh, it's just... That's just who I am, you know? When, when I... Uh, when I start talking about video game shit, like, my mind just... It, it, it's just like this constant, ongoing stream of consciousness, and I just want to get everything out there, you know? Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad attitude for a Let's Player to have, but... I don't know, it's filling the time, at least. Well, like, wander around, doing stupid shit. Okay, I remember this. There's a... Come on. There should be an extra honeycomb piece here. Unless... Oh, do I already have it? I might already have it. Shit. Yeah, that's right, because th I think this was one of the things I collected when I, uh... During my failed recording session after I died, so... Yeah, I think I already have this, but yeah. For those who weren't aware, there's an extra honeycomb piece here. Just have it already. Oh. This Let's Play isn't sloppy at all. Alright. I just need to find one more. You motherfucker! That's what you get. Okay, I just need to find one more, uh... 
jiggy, and I know it's somewhere along the uh, sides of these walls, but I just can't remember exactly where. Uh, I already got the one that's up there. So I need to... Oh! Here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 I remember this now, I remember this now. We have to uh, make our way inside that vent there and slide down, and that will get us the last jiggy. And do I have all the notes, coincidentally? I think I'm going to after this. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, found all 100 notes. And uh, I think... Oh, I can see a mumbo token, if nothing else. Actually, wait, did I get all the... Oh, no, I only have, like... Okay, so that's the last jiggy I need to get. I'm still missing three Jinjos. Wow, okay. That explains a few things. What are the odds I'm going to be able to find all of them, like, expediently? Probably not very good. Alright. Actually, one of them might be in here. In this, uh, chute down here. I'm a lot of space that. Found this. Yep, there's one. Alright. Oh no, it was an extra life! Unless, wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, it was just an extra life, okay. But I could have sworn I saw a Mumbo's token in there. Let me, let me look again. Maybe I accidentally slipped past it. Uh, nope. I'm just crazy cuckoo pants. Good. I love that. Oh boy. I might just have to start cutting this out. Okay, there we go. Fucking duh. I completely forgot about all these other pipes. Like, I just went in that one where the Jiggy used to be, and I just completely forgot all about them. Okay, let's ch let's check the other ones now, now that that's... Now that that's fresh in my memory. Okay, 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 okay. After this, it's just one more Jinjo to find, and I think I might have an idea of where it is. And if I'm right, that means that I passed it already when I was already in the area where it is, and I look incredibly stupid, and I am sorry. Oh! I hear whistles! There it is! Hey! That's nice. That's nice that the Jinjos whistle to let you know that they're nearby. It's like a little radar. Alright! We got all 10 Gs! That was actually pretty fast! I was not expecting to get through this level this quickly. Hey, I'm not complaining. We got all 10 Jiggies, and now we can get on out of here. We got all the notes. Alright! I'm kind of surprised by how smoothly that went. I think I got through that even quicker than I did Treasure Trove Cove. Which is kind of embarrassing, because, like, that's the level I know best. Or, like, I thought I knew, I knew best, anyway. Alright. I'd say that went pretty well, all things considered. Let's get on out of here. Out of this grungy-ass place. There we go. Uh, now I don't have to go swimming in Grunty's literal shit water anymore. Oh god. It just hit me that most of this is probably piss water! From an old witch! Oh fuck! I take back what I said earlier, this level is horrible! Oh dear, let's... let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Yeah, fuck off. Yeesh. Didn't think we were playing Conker's Bad Fur Day over here, goddamn. Okay, we're finally out of there. We got our 300 notes. Let's go down here. I opened this gate up before we went into Clanker's Cavern last time. Let's take a look at what is down here, shall we? I forget what it is exactly, but I know it's something important and cool. Oh, wait. I think... Yep! There we go! It's the painting for the next world. Or, would you call this a painting? I don't know. So yeah. All we gotta do is place in all these jigsaw pieces. Oh, and we can also... I think I mentioned this before. You can also uh, press C down to uh, remove jigsaw pieces, but there's literally no reason. Alright, there we go. It's a good thing I went down there. Otherwise, I would have looked very stupid. I did kind of remember there was a puzzle down here, I just... I don't know. 
this is one of those games where, where my memories are scatterbrained. It's, you know, it's like I kind of know where everything is, but, you know, I miss steps in between, so I end up getting ahead of myself. So yeah, that's another jigsaw puzzle. You know, that makes me think, were there ever any, uh, did they ever market any, like, Banjo-Kazooie jigsaw puzzles? Because if not, that is a gigantic fucking missed opportunity. Seriously. I would buy those so fucking hard and hang them on my wall when I finish them. Hey, what do you have to say? I've got this skirt so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look... Uh, don't... Don't... don't oh, God. Don't, don't make me... Don't make me imagine you in a dressing room, please. I don't need that. I don't need that in my digital entertainment. Don't much appreciate that at all, in fact. Oh, jeez! Oh! I almost ran right into your face! Uh, boy, would my face have been red. And so would my everything else when you covered it in my blood. Everywhere. Alright. I think, if, I, if memory serves correctly, and so far it hasn't been, Bubble Gloop Swamp is down... Fuck off, will you? Thank you. Alright, here we go! I'm actually on a roll with remembering where shit is. That's amazing. Let's do this shit. Continue! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! Game over. <laughs>